Yo, what is up everybody? How are you all doing on this lovely Friday evening? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're uh, getting your weekend all off to a good start. I'm sorry, Friday evening and uh, Saturday morning, of course, for some. Welcome new, welcome 6A, welcome some guy, aka Psycho Mewtwo. Very excited to have everyone here. Hello, hello. What is up? No 6A. Cool. All right, everyone's here. We filled up immediately, ready to get started. All right, take a quick gander at uh, what everyone's got. See, Psycho Mewtwo has brought along his shotgun build. Very nice. That is a classic Fight Night uh, arsenal right there. Of course, New running his main squeeze. Beloved Fierce Gaia. That is a lovely arsenal. And what do we have here? We have 6A running. Ooh, double Initium, double Grim. That is fascinating. <laughs> I like the look of it. With Albion Core. Cool. All right, sweet. And I put together some weird little machine gun build. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, welcome everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. Abnormality, my friend. How are you, sir? Hope you're having a good night tonight. Cool. Wow, we are hitting the ground running. <laughs> Might be the fastest I've ever been able to transition to the, uh, the main screen and then start the match. It's crazy. All right, here we go. Turbo mode activated. Until here. Oh, Monster Hunter? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think uh, Monster Hunter has taken over a lot of the DXM audience as well. There's a lot of overlap. Not surprising. Yeah, looks pretty cool. I've never played any Monster Hunter myself, but uh, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's see. shows the uh, Caladrius L because it has the highest bullet speed of any machine gun. But it's still pretty pitifully low. And the damage is not very good. But it seems really fun. So try this out for a little while. Ah! You can be stuck. Apologies, I'm a little bit on a horse today. A bit of a late work night. Did not get a ton of sleep, but it's okay. The exam keeps me going. <laughs> looking at my life bar and I was like, wow. Haven't taken any damage in the boot. A lot of damage. Hmm. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot to blink. 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 Damn, I don't know what song this is, but it's really redundant. And ouch, I just got uh, clapped right there. Right, this is the X-Men vs. Street Fighter MST, but I have no idea what this is. It's like the Apocalypse intro, I guess? Had to change it, that was too much. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, GG. Good game. Nice. Nice way to uh, kick things off. Very cool. GG. Hmm, so uh, not super successful, that machine gun build, but I'll try it for uh, at least one more match. Try it for at least one more game. Oh, nice. Double fail not rumble over. I am a big fan of the fail not. That is a cool gun. <laughs> what is this? Double Ages Brinnacle Hammer. Ooh, with AA. That's gonna be... Dan Hermes. <laughs> cool. Sort of a variation on... Uh... 6A's main build. 6A's main build is uh, uh, Hermes with Atlas, I believe, and Quad and Fang. <laughs> and uh, Aim Assist as well. And I think Brinnacle as well. So this is a slight variation on that. Yo, what up, Eclipse? Welcome, welcome. How's it going, homie? You are having a great week.
Welcome, welcome, Eclipse. Oh no, I have it. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Alright, that's bad, that's bad. <laughs> Even on hit, these, uh, Caladrius steals about 60 damage per shot, so not too crazy. You can see uh, critical distance making a big difference, though. That's a pretty wide range of uh, damage numbers. <laughs> that was not a lot of damage at all, was it? Feels cool though. It's fun to try and hit stuff with machine guns. Ooh, that was pretty close. Oh my goodness, these things have like infinite ammo. I never even looked over there. Wow. Probably because it's the L version, but that is a significant amount of ammo. <laughs> we can get to uh, fall sooner or later, I'm sure.
Oh no, new! New is gone. <laughs> I have to assume he got. What? Ooh, GG. Good game, good game. Very nice. Yeah, for sure, Eclipse. I think Ryzen also wants to try to get in here, which is pretty cool. Because I uh, haven't seen him or you for a long time. So, yeah, you are both totally welcome. Oh no! The dreaded bonk. Welcome to the club. <laughs> it's an exclusive club. And you're in it. GG. The uh, Caladrius was a fun experiment, but <laughs> let's try something else. I'm enjoying playing this uh, at the end of last week. And earlier this week I was doing some laser blade melee. I might try to give that a shot later on too. Riot light grenade grenade light grenade system. That is brutal. This is cool. I believe I've seen this before because I the, uh, the double CS with the Brinicle is a very cool look. Very towering. I'm sorry, not the Brinicle, the Agniostra. Nice colors, nice grim. And uh, second to this is what he was rocking last game. Take Mikazuchi with the AR on. Oh, I think he swapped it up. But, uh, yeah, previous game, it was this guy right here. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, nice colors here. Look at that. That's a good look. Yeah, they all look pretty good. Deep Abyss and the Rising Fire. Yeah, welcome in again, everybody. It's good to see so many people right away. Damn. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, so we have Eclipse and Ryzen. Might want to get in on this. Uh, I know Akitsu usually likes to try to play a couple games uh, if he can fit them in. Be pretty cool.
<laughs> Almost got it out. Yeah, no need to apologize. I didn't need to. Oh no, I that. See where I get my blankets. As a Hail Mary. It's a cool fight. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay, I can't tell if I ran out of reach or if I was just so high in the sky and hit the prison. I had a lot of it, so I don't know what happened. Oh no, I said to too. Unfortunately, uh, Sekou Miju's body is all trapped up, so no picking him up, unfortunately.
Ooh, GG. Good game. GG. All right, well, Mew Isaka, thank you so much for joining us. I know you have to head off to work, but uh, really great to have you. Uh, thank you so much for spending your time here today. Hope you have a nice day at work. And uh, yeah, thanks again, man. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you. All good, Mew. Thank you very much for... Uh, joining us. Ooh, nice. We got Ryzen. Ryzen, my friend. It is good to see you, homie. It has been quite a while, but it is great to see you here. What is up, brother? My man, Ryzen. Cool. All right. So what do we got here? We got uh, 6A rocking the double Baldur's 1 build. Very cool. Very cool. Dangerous. Don't get hit by that thing. <laughs> see what we got. Ryzen. We got the classic melee plus the light pillar with the Claymore core, which is very cool. Pretty unique aspect of that build. And the light pillars, of course. They're basically free. Ooh, nice. We've got double Take, double Astraeus with Garuda, too. So this man's going to be firing a lot of bullets. A lot of bullets. Yeah, I think me and Cycle Mewtwo can still be on the same team since it's a new, uh, new cycle, new rotation. Oh, I did get a screenshot on you. It's not the greatest screenshot, but uh, it does contain. It does have all four of us in there. So uh, I will definitely post that uh, at the end of Fight Night. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start this song over because it's so sick. This particular playlist for X Men vs Street Fighter OST might not be optimal because it has a few of the i picked it because it has the longer themes because the original themes are like a minute and a half each but it also contains like four minute long continue music <laughs> which is on like a 10 second loop or less so uh yeah it's a mixed bag but you do get this sick ass cyclops theme playing me <laughs> so that dictates that I should probably uh, not engage them but uh, we'll see. Mm. 
might just do it anyway. Because I'm not super smart. <laughs> Six eight took damage from something. I don't know what some guy hit him with, but it must have hurt. Now one thing that is true is that uh, BP tanks are definitely not gonna favor us much. Tanks that would typically favor the melee player. I think? Oh, that was, that was no good. I saw him coming. And I just tanked it. My stamina is constantly in a state of weirdness. Oh, well, that's pretty bad. Ooh, narrowly avoided. Have been quite bad on the uh, request. Yeah, I'm running out of stamina constantly because I gotta keep running. Oh no! I missed my blink. Could have been very bad. Whew. Very nice, GG. Oh, Mizen's arsenal is uh, floating a little bit. <laughs> GG, good game. Yeah, it's a pretty good idea, dude. Not bad at all.
Yeah, I'm glad I gave you some time with this. That's a good plan. GG. Oh, I, thought, I thought I thought you hit me last game. I thought each of you hit me at least once. I could be wrong there. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's fun. It's fun trying to dodge dual melee on a small map. It's actually pretty enjoyable. In that case. Yeah, I'll stick with this. Man, I love missiles. It's a shame they're so unwieldy, because they're really fun. But this has such a great impact on your memory and weight. They are fun. Hey, you too. Ryzen, you had uh, pretty high health at the end of the last game. Oh, well, that's, uh, he doesn't see me. <laughs> all right, all right. Luck it out. I think he, like, he flew in a little too low. Oh, no, again. All right, this time I will be... Oh, I was so lucky. Oh, no, this is another one of those, like, really long, looping continue the tracks. I gotta turn it off. So bad.
should be pretty dead. Good banana stamina twice, but uh, thankfully in the chaos that is 2v2, I was able to escape the worst of it. <laughs> Must have had like one stamina left there. I definitely thought I was out. Took a second. GG. Good game, good game. Good game. Gee, nice game. Uh, okay, sounds like this will be 6A's last one. 6A, thank you so much for joining us. It has been very awesome. 6A, I don't know if you're in the chat. If there is a map you would prefer to play, let me know. I always like to try to give map choice to the player who is on their last match. So. 6A, if you want a, if you use a particular map you like, let me know. Otherwise, we'll probably just pick something. Sim? Some more snow. Let's do snow. Yeah, blue did that color scheme. Blue with white. Kind of uh, electric blue. Very cool. We've got Ryzen with his Black Knight going on. Ooh, full restorative. That's cool. Oh, yeah, no worries, Resin. All good. Take your time. Hey, <laughs> welcome back. That wasn't so bad.
I swear, every time I play on this map, it feels smaller than it did the time before. <laughs> but I still really love this map. It's still probably tied for my favorite. found a new version of the OST that doesn't have so many uh, really long droning loops of uh, continues and endings and all that. Those aren't too bad, but tip on a typical OST it'll be like seven seconds. In this case it was like several minutes of a seven second loop, so I found a, found a better one. Didn't do any damage at all. No damage at all. I thought I saw some guy swing a sword and then take damage, but he doesn't have a sword, so I think I'm just tripping. Sometimes I get uh, I fumble when I'm switching my shifts around. Press it like one too many times and end up back in wing shift when I'm going to be in shield shift. Or worse yet, end up in assault shift ever. <laughs> just kidding, I know assault shift definitely has its uses, but I personally just don't ever have any luck.
Man, GG. Nice game. I wasn't sure what was going to happen at the end there. Good game, good game. Very nice. Oh, nice, we've got the uh, Longsword Mume Albion gang. <laughs> cool. Yeah, for sure, that was definitely a close one. Oh, yeah, I think I checked out uh, Ishmelga last week. Very cool looking robot, without a doubt. But GG, what a great game. Yeah, that was that was right down to the wire. to get a group photo. Might not be able to quite get it. That's okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, thank you very much, 6A. Great to have you. Really great to have you. It's uh, it's nice to be seeing you every week. It's really cool, and uh, it's yeah. Thank you for stopping by. Always cool to see what crazy robots you've cooked up. <laughs> Your arsenal selection is uh, is always pretty cool, pretty wild stuff. But I dig it. I'm a fan. So thank you once again. Alright, well we have an open spot. I know that uh, Eclipse said he wanted to get some games in, but if I'm not mistaken, it looks like he may be preoccupied. <laughs> looks like he might be playing some fantasy star, so might not be getting Eclipse just yet. But, we do have a spot. Let's see if we can't find someone to fill it. GG's. Wow. What a great, uh, what an awesome start we we had today. Ah, uh, word eclipse. Well, we should be going for probably a decent amount of time. So uh, there's definitely, definitely a possibility of getting you in here as the night progresses. Ah, nice, nice, Ryzen. It does feel good. I don't know why. Tonight in particular, I've been like real zoned in and having a great time. So uh, I'm glad the feeling is not exclusive to me. And it's great to see you too. It's been a long time. I do see you popping up in the weekly rankings every once in a while. So I have a suspicion that you might... Uh, do some moonlighting as an arsenal pilot <laughs> during your time away. But uh, yeah, either way, great to have you. Really nice. 
This is old school. Psycho Mewtwo Ryzen? What's next? The Kitsu? Dandy? <laughs> Uh, nice. I very much understand. It's cool. It's good, it's good for the mind. It keeps you quick. Yeah, so I put out the call on Discord. Let's see if we can't fill that uh, final spot. In the meantime, we're just chilling here with the Juggernaut theme. Oh yeah, for sure. Actually, let me check my friends list right now. Let's guess. All right, so we have 14, 13 friends online. How many of them do you think are playing Monster Hunter? I'm gonna guess seven. Seven is my guess. We'll see, let's find out. Oh no, that's eight right there. <laughs> Nine, ten. Ten. Ten Monster Hunters. That's cool, though. It's a cool game from the looks of it. I never played it myself. Kind of enjoy watching it. Can't I uh, can't kill the things. Because they're pretty, like, adorable. And they're just doing, like, animal things, so... Can't bring myself to, to kill them. But this game, it's all robots. <laughs> Much easier to justify. Oh uh, yeah, Souls elements. I kind of see that in the combat. There's like a lot of the animations for a lot of the weapons are like big, heavy animations with like a lot of wind up and cool down, which I very much grew to enjoy after playing Elden Ring in its entirety. I freaking love that style of combat. So that part, I mean, the gameplay looks really fun. No doubt about that. And like the customization, there's a bunch of weapons to pick from. Yeah, Monster Hunter does look cool. Does look cool. All right, put that up the call on uh, Twitter as well, just in case we can snare somebody there. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. 
The character Monster Hunter, who was DLC for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, uh, is awesome. Super cool character in that fighting game. Really, like, you wonder how it would translate, but it translates super well. So, love that Monster Hunter. She is really cool. You know something I was thinking about lately? I guess I'll just ramble. <laughs> fill, the, uh, fill some dead air. I was thinking about lately in regards to uh, Demon X Machina and similar games. So, my roommate got a Switch recently with Breath of the Wild. And it was the first console game or game period pretty much that he played since Skyward Sword on the Wii. So... And he didn't have much experience with like, console shooters or anything like that. So this game, uh, this Breath of the Wild, is his first experience with the dual analog controls. Like move with left stick, look with right stick. That's it's his first time getting used to it. And he was talking about how he was having difficulty in the beginning learning the controls because he'd never done the camera like that. But by now it's like antiquated. I mean, that was, these controls have been around since like the Halo days and stuff, but he just never had that FPS experience. So it was new to him. And that was interesting to me because I think that applies a lot to Demon X Machina. I think first person shooter experience and especially just dual analog experience goes a really long way in this game. I guess that's pretty much my whole point. <laughs> but I just, it was curious because it just never even occurred to me. It's just kind of blind to it. it was like oh yeah dual analog that old thing but no it's uh not everyone plays those styles of games so i thought that was kind of fun oh no worries eclipse definitely definitely looks like we may we may yet have that spot for a little bit so you are totally welcome Yeah, Ryzen, it was, uh, she was DLC. I think she launched, of course, right around the time of whatever Monster Hunter game that would have been in 2017. Yeah, she's super cool. keep saying I'm going to buy all the DLC, like all the decal packs and all the skins and stuff, because I figured why not, but then I keep remembering I have to buy them on Switch and PC. So uh, what can you do? Not yet new, but I think Eclipse is going to uh, hop on in pretty shortly. So it is all good. Yeah, the dual analog needs in this game are pretty extreme because of how fast everything moves. So you're right, Ryzen. It's a very high demand on the sticks. <laughs> Doomed to, uh, to drift. Oh yeah, distance management as well. That's something I hadn't really considered. Yeah, that's a major factor. In, uh, you know, like Call of Duty, it is very unlikely that your opponent will be able to outrun a bullet. 
But in this game, it's actually pretty realistic. <laughs> That's kind of kind of cool. Yeah, this game's great. Yeah, don't feel obligated, new. We're definitely we're just chilling. So, uh, hey, you can if you like, but uh, no pressure. No pressure, no obligation. And I definitely will be doing a PC portion at the end. Uh, even though that'll probably end up just being me versus Yugi. But I'm totally cool with that. Uh, if anybody else is around on PC who wants to hop in, we can absolutely do some 2v2. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna get some uh, PC fights in tonight. One way or another. <laughs> Last week I chickened out because I was just so beat. But uh, not this time. Not this time. Hey, what's up, Yugi? I see you uh, lurking there. What is up, homie? Hope you are having a good evening. Nice. We might be able to get Lodestone as well. I know his hours are pretty tough because he's in Singapore, I believe. But uh, yeah, he's been he's 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 pretty cool. He's been uh, really going for it. I feel bad because his time zones are pretty tough to accommodate, but uh, he is eager. Definitely wants to learn, and definitely is putting in the effort, which is really cool to see. I am Yugi. Thank you. It's Friday night, so I am great. Because that means I don't have to think about anything for a couple days. <laughs> well, i got to think about a few things, but you know. Hey, welcome back, Mew. Welcome, welcome. So I guess maybe we'll do some uh, 1v1 stuff? Oh, it sounds good new. I assume that Eclipse will want to get in in a little bit. And uh, at that time, I will let you know what's up. So thank you very much for filling the spot. We'll get a few duels in in the meantime. Keep the momentum going. Sweet. 
Oh, there's Eclipse. That's cool. I'm gonna do some 2v1, I'm down too. Missile rock range is like right at the edge of his sword range. So I'm doing my best to lock on without getting sliced. Oop, that's really bad. Oh no! Almost made it in time, but not good. That was pretty good too. I think he had the. Uh, I think he had his assault shipped up. Did not waste the opportunity. So it was very good. I know my shit's back. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to make up that damage with one sniper rifle and missiles. But if I get really lucky with a bunch of sword attacks, then maybe. Super risky, though, because he's going to be doing a lot more damage than I am on the, uh, on the counter attack. But I have no choice. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. That was a really bad place to be. I could, I could, uh, I could uh, totally sense it. He was like laser guided by me. He was about seconds away from me. big smack. big map so I'm tempted to blink everywhere and tempted to blink because he's got melee so super good to not get smacked Right on top of him. Looks like I can hit the shield, but I still get some decent damage. Well, not really. <laughs> Probably need a few more of those in order to uh, get this thing up.
Ooh. GG. Very nice. Good game. GG. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, nice. Do you, uh, do you guys want to do? Some guy in rise hand? Up to you. I'm down to duel, but I'm also down to let you guys duke it out. All right. I think if, uh, if Psycho Mute, there we go. Nice. Psycho Mute 2, do you have a map preference? I don't think Psycho Mute 2 is actually in the stream. I think they can only do one or the other. I'll try to pick a map that's just pretty much agreeable to everyone. Airport? <laughs> That's pretty agreeable to everyone. Can't really go wrong there. It looks like a very, like, grounded, like this is like a soldier arsenal. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Nice. <laughs> I like, I actually enjoy commentating and spectating matches. It's kind of fun. If I don't just get totally entranced and... Say nothing. <laughs> All right. We're going to be checking out Ryzen's point of view here. Ryzen is uh, lying in wait with that assault ship. Have to be very careful. It looks like uh, Psycho Mitsu has double Take, double Beluga Beam, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. A little different from the double Take, double Astraeus 2 that he had prior. Ooh, that was really close at least from my perspective, but it looked like it did not land. I didn't see any, like, hit markers or explosives on, uh, on Cyclone Mitsu. Wow, yeah, Ryzen is really great with that assault shift. 
going to assault ship directly before the swing. That is something I definitely never mastered in my time as a melee player. So that is very cool to see. It's a perfect sequence. You wing shift your way into into striking range, and then you instantly smack your assault shift or your reverse femto shift to go straight into assault, and your swords just a frame or so later. Yeah, difficult. You can uh, you can get tripped up. <laughs> your fingers will press the buttons in the wrong sequence, and you won't get it quite what you're looking for. But uh, yeah, Ryzen seems to have it down to a science. Oh, thank you, New. <laughs> Much obliged. Psycho B2 seems to be doing a pretty good job here. Just staying out of range, using his uh, superior distance weaponry to keep Ryzen at bay. But all it takes is one. So, Psycho Mute is going to have to keep that up for quite a while, for at least two minutes more. Now, we do play Airport a lot, but I'll never get tired of the sky. Right there. You're looking straight up. With that pink and blue. It looks so good. Especially with laser blades. For some reason, that really enhances it. Yo, Eclipse with the Twitch Prime sub! Thank you very much, Eclipse. Really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. My oh, man, Eclipse. The Prime sub. Very kind, very kind. Thank you. Awesome to have you as a member of the Disorder Unit channel. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much, homie. I appreciate that. Playing with fire a little bit there is uh, second number two, but came very unscathed. Now it's difficult to tell if damage has been done. We haven't seen any strike markers or fires on Psycho Mewtwo. At least I, I didn't see any myself. So there's a good chance he is still, still uh, hanging in there. That was a close one. Hard to tell. Yeah, there's something very satisfying about the, the crack of the uh, the laser whips, <laughs> the laser sword. Another close one. Thirteen seconds to go. Oh no, rise in, tap the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that, uh, I believe... Oop, sorry. I'm caught up. Wow, GG. Good game. I liked the double KO after the bell. That was pretty cool. Ah, uh, yeah, so it looks like some guy did take a couple, a uh, couple big hits over the course of that game. But GG. Good game, good game. Nice match. Yeah, it was after time, but it was still cool. Still very dramatic. I liked it. GG.
Oh, GG's to Psycho Mewtwo. Thank you very much, as always, for chilling with us. Psycho Mewtwo is probably the most regular Fight Night attendee. So, thanks very much. Absolutely great to have you on a weekly basis. GG's today, Psycho Mewtwo. Good games. Alright, so now we have one open spot. I'm not sure how long Mew can stick around, but I'm grateful for his presence. <laughs> we do have one open spot here. Uh, I can kind of... Oh, actually, we could... If we wanted to, this might be an opportune time to switch over to PC if Eclipse is down for some PC 2v2. If not, we can get uh, we can continue on Switch for a little bit. But I believe with new, not sorry, sorry, not new, uh, with with Yugi, myself, and Ryzen and Eclipse, that would be four. We did want to try that out. GG's new, thank you very much. It was awesome to uh, actually get to play with you at the beginning of the session. So that was awesome. That was a pleasure, and thank you very much for filling the lobby, helping us out with a couple of duels. That was very nice. Thank you, new. It is absolutely a pleasure every time. So thank you very much. Okay, so I think that is going to be our course of action. I think what we're going to do is swap on over to PC Demon X Machina. What? <laughs> Trying to find it. Oh, nice. Yeah, good call. Uh, let's see. We get the robots and the dog? Yes, we can. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. So this is awesome, actually. We can uh, we can get Yuki involved and have a full lobby on PC. Uh, though, to get set up. Ryzen, it is great to see you. Great to see everyone. Okay. So give me just a moment here. Well, once again, thanks so much to everyone who joined us on Switch. Cyclone Mewtwo, New Isaka, 6A, Ryzen. Awesome, awesome stuff. Thank you very much. All right. So if you wouldn't mind just giving me a quick second, I am going to swap on over to PC. Oh wow, awesome set of matches on Switch. Thanks as always. It was awesome. Man, I was super into it. <laughs> this is actually really fun so far. All right. 
Be right back. BRB, see you in about 120 seconds, optimistically. <laughs> see ya, one sec.
Yo, what's up, everybody? We're back. This time in glorious 60 FPS. We have some PC action coming your way. Yes, sir, we are back. We are on PC. Yo, what's up, Ray Shadow? Yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, just missed the tail end of the switch portion. Apologies for that. But uh, welcome. Welcome, 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 regardless. Great to see you. Yeah, we were down to two people on switch, so... Uh, but we do have four people for PC, which is crazy. That is a rarity. But uh, let me talk to a prince if he wants to get in on this action. But welcome, Ray Shadow. Hope you're doing great. If you are having an excellent start to your weekend. Oh, there he is. Welcome, 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 Eclipse! Holy cow. It has been a long time. Eclipse, the uh, creator of the Fight Night tradition, who uh, passed it along to me. It's been quite a while since we've seen him, but it is always a joy to do so. Oh, if you have to restart, that's okay. No worries. Oh, but maybe not. Maybe things are okay. Ooh, so let's take a quick look what we got going on here. Ooh, Siegfried. Siegfried melee here from you. Pretty cool. Siegfried core. Very, uh, very specific use case. Oh man. We are going full on naked. <laughs> All good. If anybody can make it work, I believe it would be Eclipse. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yugi, Rise and Eclipse, welcome, welcome, welcome. So great to get a PC fight night in. Man, that is just fantastic. Hey, that's great, Grey Shadow. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah, super glad to hear that. Yeah, and again, I'm really sorry we missed the, uh, the Switch portion. All right, here we go. Nice. We're going back. <laughs> I shifted my position, and now I'm directly in front of my PC. That was pretty cool. 
I started with all my missiles thoughts. Huh. I feel like I've seen that before, but I haven't thought about it in a long time. I guess it starts locking on before the before the screen even loads. Looks like the signature uh, Dingsleaf Dingsleaf hammer configuration. It was quite infamous for back in the day. Pretty cool combo. You work at a real bad. But it was just slightly out of range. It's locked on just a little bit faster. I love Pandora's box because that thing both locks on and fires like instantly. The missiles are not as high quality as Icarus missiles, although they do travel faster. Using that cover, never want to ignore the environment. No eclipse. This might be down. Oh, he is so <laughs> That's tough. Yep, I'm here with a bunch of killers. PC really is so smooth though. Okay. I've said it before, but I can totally understand why it would be really difficult for a PC player to go to Switch. It was difficult for Switch to PC at first, but now. Now it's just like, oh yeah. <laughs> this is really nice. Laser swords glow even more on the PC. Really beautiful. Ruby seems to be managing that uh, Siegfried core pretty well. Ooh, the reboot, damn. Snuck it in. I uh, definitely wasn't expecting that. Figured the threat of these swords would be too much. Horizon is a brave guy. Paid off. Oh no, the bonk! Oh no, the double bonk! Luckily I was still in, uh... Still safe from the first one. Still in hit stun, so I didn't think... Yeah. Damn! Well... 
I turned around. I think I didn't know what happened. <laughs> GG. That revive. That was the, the most clutch. GG. The revive and then the bonk. I think if I hadn't got bonked by Eclipse right at the last second, we may have had the edge on BP. Damn, nice. GG, what a game. Pretty sick. Nice game. Team swap move. Well, I want to do factory one because we're on PC and we can do that now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, maybe, maybe, you know what? Let's, we guys see a theme here. Here's what I'm going to do real quick. Oh, you know what? And I think also. I believe that robot that I just had was uh, not. I think I stole some of his attachments from somebody else. <laughs> so instead we got the, uh, the triple CS prom gang. That should be pretty cool. Now, I was using a different, I was using my old, old melee build earlier this week uh, in some matches against Lodestone. And I actually really like that because the speed feels just right. The Raikiri uh, is so slippery that sometimes it's really hard to get the shots to go where you want. But you do get to be obscenely fast and that's really fun, so it's a trade-off. But the smoothness of the other build was like really impressive. I didn't want to take too much time, but if we, if we continue playing melee, then uh, maybe I will swap over to the other one, just because I was having a, it felt so balanced. But it was also not particularly original. Now, when I first made it, I thought it was original, because I had never seen that composition before. But as time went on, it just proved to be the parts were very good. <laughs> They're really good parts. Which would be Liberator Siegfried, Mume, or Siegfried Arms, Mume Core with, uh, oh god, with, uh, Albion Legs. Hmm. I have not been able to get my Femtor to max this whole time, so maybe I should do that first. I've been constantly on the edge of all my shifts, and I don't really like that. I like juiced up. Oh no, Eclipse died like right out in the open too. <laughs> so I can't get him. Ooh, that actually might have worked if I had let that first attack go. Damn, I was hoping. <laughs> Try to pick you up. <laughs> For the streets. Well, we'll see. Let's see if I can't find an opportune time. I have to admit, I think it's probably not going to happen, but I won't close my mind to the possibility.
Ooh, that was close. Almost red walled myself. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, I lucked out. No, I'm guessing what happened is that he attacked me from just underneath, and then he ended up hitting the ceiling, which canceled his sword animation. If I had to guess, which means I got very lucky. Oh, hey, what's up, Waturgeon and Chad? Welcome, welcome. Waturgeon, good to see you. It has been quite a while. But nice of you to drop by. Thanks, man. Good to see you, Waturgeon. Nice. That's right, Ray Shadow. <laughs> the disorder units. They are my people. <laughs> They're my cousins. GG. Oh, yeah, Eclipse. Sorry, that was a pretty rough one. That was a rough one. Ah. <laughs> Actually, I think sometimes. I don't know, sometimes versus two... Well, also, that map was really, really big. So I think that helped me. Not only is that map really big, but I was also playing the my, my hyper-speed uh, old melee build. <laughs> so I think I uh, lucked out in that 2v1. I mean, I didn't really do any damage myself, so no big deal. <laughs> but it was fun. Running around is fun. I could, uh, I could try what I was running the other day. Not nearly as interesting, but it is pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, the buttons are switched between Switch and PC. The X and Y buttons, so I keep messing that up. Oh yeah, and then the head is, uh, this one. Ooh. Yeah, this is the original build that I ran in tournament slash ranked, like, a really long time ago. Not particularly inspired. Like I said, when I first came up with it, I thought, oh, that's cool. 
That's unique. But uh, I've seen a few pretty much identical builds. Wait, is this right? The team's right? Yeah, 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 that's right. Let's rise and eclipse first. Ooh, ooh, the double hammer. Full hammer time. Oh shit, that's right. Because <laughs> we are in uh, dangerous territory. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> that was pretty cool, I guess. The way I just uh, blinked myself out of existence. Yeah, not intentional. I'm really sorry, Ryzen. That was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. I'm sorry about that. I went to back up, and I guess I, like... I guess I hit my stick too quick didn't hold it i don't know what happened but i actually blinked backwards and died so damn rise and sorry about that I get a couple way, but no, most of them are geared for pretty fastness. But that one is like exceptionally super mega ultra fast, so not quite as uh, not not a balanced arsenal by any stretch. Ooh, that was a nice little clash there. I wonder if the swords hit. Yeah, kind of. I do. I do definitely sympathize with the AI in this game. They seem like they're, you know, they don't mean any explicit harm. At least the original, the, the white ones or whatever. Oh yeah, Ryzen, Ryzen got hit, hit pretty hard pretty early. Oh, <laughs> they're going in circles. Ooh! Nice hit. Ooh, I was so... <laughs> I felt my heart jump. Maybe he was charging in. MGG. Yeah, sorry about that, Ryzen. I accidentally blinked directly backwards and blew myself to smithereens on the red wall. That was totally not intentional, and uh, that's my bad. My bad. a map where I'm less likely to do that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. How about we go do... 
I don't think we've done this one on PC yet. It should be pretty good. Uh, nope. Nope, you're you're fine, Eclipse. So it's just me being a dumbass. Uh, no backwards blink at the start of the round this time. Not doing that. Not doing that. No backwards blink at round start. A little juice up. Pretty, pretty fairly juiced. Yeah, so this is not the same as the previous build. The previous build is uh, 25,000 boost speed, which is actually not the best for swords, but it's really fun. But because the speed is so great, the momentum from your, from your swings, or just even your boosting, will often carry you away from the target. Oh no! <laughs> Eclipse! I think my only chance is if I can somehow completely knock one of these guys out, but I don't think that's going to be easy to do. At least not without getting completely blasted myself. Maybe if I'd gotten a little dash... my chance. Opportunity squandered. He's right in the middle of the map, but he is right by the base of that thing, which I think might help if I were to try to pick him up. Post it up, <laughs> making sure I don't go in on that corpse. Pretty smart, though. Gotta say. Either that or he's just observing. I can't tell.
GG. GG, nice game. Nice game. Switch. Yeah, I'm down. I'm totally down for some, uh, some no attachment battles. Sounds like fun. Let's see if I have. Let's see what I have. <laughs> now, all my liberators have stuff in them. This one. I don't think I need that. That move. I don't have any empty sick creeps either. Maybe we'll do some FD instead. Sure, why not? FD looks kind of cool with these colors. Oh, I don't think I'm going to empty one of these, though. Alright, well, I'll do this for now. Navigating menus is quite a bit faster on PC. Switch, there are definitely load times. But uh, PC, it's pretty much instantaneous. Sweet. Nice. Oh, nice. Big empty. Yami Yui. Ah, uh, yes. Something like this is right. Nice. Just double check. Yep, cool. All empty. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, Ray, it's a Celtic myth, if I'm not mistaken. It's, uh, it's like an Irish, it means sword of light, from what I understand. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, Ryzen might be AFK. Oh no, Ryzen disconnected. I'm sorry, homie. Oh, more 2v1 for me, alright, sure. I do enjoy the 2v1, so. I don't expect to win, but still a fun, like, exercise in uh, 
target tracking and threat assessment. Just like awareness. You gotta be aware of everything. That is a watch, most certainly. Oh, I feel so slow. <laughs> so slow without the flight mods. Cancel. Whoops. Oh no. Bait worked perfectly. Oh no. And my body is destroyed. That makes a lot of sense. So that's probably I'm extra slow. No attachments and destroyed body. Oh no! I got the spin. Oh, I was pretty lucky that I was, again, still in uh, pit stun. I feel like I went right in between three different things. That's okay. Or I probably just hit the garage. That seems like most likely. Ow! Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty beat up. No worries, Ryzen. All good, all good. No worries. Feel free to hop back in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty smart to use the DP tanks. I didn't really have much recourse. So, uh, pretty, pretty crafty tactic. GG. Good game.
Nice stuff. Hey, welcome back, Ryzen. Why did I even ask? I knew the answer. I knew the answer and I asked anyway. <laughs> Sick. But it's actually been a long, long, long time since uh, since we've done any tunnels. We've kind of uh, like banished it from the <laughs> from the switch rotation because it's such an odd map. We used to do it a lot more. We used to do it at least like a couple times every week. But, uh, yeah, it's been a while. So this would be a nice... A nice return to form. <laughs> I don't know about Burnt Out. I think our audience changed. I think we had a, I think it, for, for a while we had a much more casual audience. And now we have sort of a mixed, sort of like a middle ground between competitive and casual. Or most of the people who are coming to fight nights on a regular basis are uh, like, you know, trying to work on builds or skills or whatever. Whereas in the past, it was usually just like, oh, I just want to screw around. And there is a little bit of that still. Oh, jeez. Oh, my whole shield's gone. Oh, wow. How did I use up all this Femto? So that's the tunnel trick. Really, there's one Femto zone. It's in this little elbow over here. The other elbow does not have any Femto zones. And if you control that, then you are at a major advantage. Oh, <laughs> the sneak attack. That was purely based on the radar. So I'm coming out the tunnel and I'm like, hey, what if I just... Ha! Oh no, Eclipse is in a little bit of trouble. That is a rather low light to Damn, though, no, even without... Uh, even without... Attachments, the double hammers still hit quite a lot. There's no attachments in those hammers. Uh-oh. Oh, the, the uh, Mirage. <laughs> oh, shit. GG. Damn. GG. Yeah, it's cool, Ray Shadow. I think a lot of the, uh, there's a few, like, mythical sword names mixed in with all the normal sword names. Like you have Gladius, Longsword, Falchion, but there's a couple, I think there's the Erendite and Damesleaf, I believe, are also based on some sort of mythology. So it's really cool that they, that they fit them in there. One more tunnels, I will mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna go Boomgar style. We got either Eclipse or Rising. You wanna? You guys wanna swap over here? Nice. Uh -oh. 
should be fun. Nice and simple. Hammers and bazookas versus a whole lot of laser swords. I wanted to mix it up a little bit just so we weren't all playing laser swords. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> No. Clips. Yeah, there's no, there's no revives in the tunnels. I mean, actually, there can be sometimes. When it ever happens, it's super epic. But uh... one nice thing about tunnels is there's tons of walls everywhere, so that there's a lot of opportunity to get some like um, last wave shots. Ah. You can, even if you miss them. You might hit the wall and get a little bit of a shock wave and get some damage that way. Oh no! <laughs> Trying to avoid getting sandwiched. If I was smart, I would probably fight out there because it gives me a little room to breathe. Oh! Oh, jeez! That was pretty bad. I'm gonna take a page out of Ryzen's book. Use that assault shift. I got the assault ship down. I mean, down as in not on anymore, so I didn't take like double damage there. <laughs> you freaking pinball! We both, we both tried the slow and steady approach, and we both missed. Ah! Damn, the ground speed on uh, Siegfried is not spectacular. Oh no! Oh, my ammo is actually running kind of low. That's bad. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. GG. That was pretty sick. Good game, good game. Very nice. Hmm, maybe. 16k might be enough. If uh, if you've got the sh movement, you got that wing shift down, 16k could work. 16k is probably about the average speed of the PC Excuse me, the PC aim assist builds. So I definitely think that can work.
What are we thinking? We're thinking one more. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, Ryzen. I know, uh, no, it's been a very, very long night for you. One more? All right. All right. That's what I like to hear. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And after that, maybe we might call it a night after that. But, uh, damn, this has been a blast. Fifteen k. I hope that's speed and not VP. <laughs> Otherwise, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a tough one. Oh yeah, mentioned I saw a mention of chat of having a no attachments tournament. Yeah, we did that. Ooh, he's going for the <laughs> going for the, uh, the rail guns. Real gun hammer, damn, it's got it all. Ooh, that's had to be a mirage. Oh, damn, the bonk! Yeah, man, even without attachments, hammers. Oh, <laughs> right, I put wing shift on, and that instant I got blasted. Somebody stand out. Ooh, that was a perfect blink. Damn, nice. Perfect blink. Oh no. Ryzen is down. Ooh, looks like Clip's got a hit on Ryzen there. I mean, on uh, Yugi. Yugi kind of had that stun. That's uh, the animation you get when you're stunned up. <laughs> Eclipse is trying to find an opportunity to revive Ryzen. I'm gonna hang it out over here until then. Let's go for those rail guns. Oh, GG. GG. Good game. Damn, the tunnels. The tunnels give no quarter, no mercy. Full brutality. It's great games. Damn, tunnels are fun. They're fun because they're so fast. Wait, Clips, before you go, you guys want to get a group photo for, uh, for fight night purposes?
<laughs> no, this is actually uh, this is actually the Dalsim theme from X Men vs. Street Fighter. Oh shit! You're on the ice cream cone. Oh, let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's okay. Cool. Nice, damn! You got on that cone fast. It takes me a while. How do I get the get everybody here? <laughs> Something like that. Can I try this thing? Yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool angle. VX. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Yugi. I'm so glad we got to get some games with you. It was, uh, apologize, it was a little short lived, but our, uh, our PC residence may be done for the evening. But wow, that was awesome. That was awesome, 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 awesome. everyone thank you guys so much this was an awesome fight night this was really cool pretty much non-stop action the whole time a little a brief interlude but we had some good conversation in the meantime really cool but uh everyone who joined us tonight in the chat and on the battlefield thank you all so much it was a pleasure to have you all faces new and old psycho mewtwo Ryzen, Mew Isaka, Eclipse, Yugi. Thank you guys all very much. And 6A, of course. 6A. Thank you all for being here and for hanging out in the chat. We got Ray Shadow. We got Waturgeon. We got a few uh, returning friendly faces. It has been awesome to hang out with you all. Yeah. Thank you very much, everyone. What a, what a, what a fantastic fight night. Thanks, Ray Shadow. Hey, that's good advice, Ryzen. Save your farming uh, uh, inspiration up for AC6. Might be on the way. But anyway, that is going to do it for our fight night tonight. Really appreciate you all hanging out. Had a wonderful time. Hope you all did too. And uh, yeah, we should be back next week. Same time, same place. 7 p.m. Pacific on Friday night, which will be 10 p.m. Eastern, and 11 a.m. Saturday morning Japan time. So, uh, yeah, come check it out. If you want to stop in, hang out, or fight with us, you're welcome to do any or all of that. So, thanks, everybody. GG's tonight. Great games. Looking forward to that next fight night.
Cool. So until next time. Peace, everybody. Have an awesome night. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome weekend. Have an awesome week. And thank you all once again for being here. I will see you next time. Peace, everyone. Bye.